I'll be honest with you, right? I slag my missus off a lot on stage, right? And I'm going to say something now, which is a lot of women in here are going to go, you know what, that's too fucking far, that. But before you judge me on it, if she was here, she would openly admit this. She would say, she's very open about it. She would say this herself, right? My missus is what we call in Liverpool a fucking fridge, right? A lot of people know what that means. Some people, if you're not laughing at that, it doesn't mean like she's the size of a fridge or nothing. It just means that she's frigid, like she's a bit boring in bed, she doesn't like nothing good, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, you know when, like, when you're getting into it and you're like, you're getting into your rhythm and that, and she's just like, oh, and you're like, oh, and you start getting a bit carried away with yourself and you start fucking choking on a spit. <laughs> you fucking dirty little slag, you fucking love that, don't you? You fucking take it. Take that right now, you horrible little bitch. You fucking, oh, you fucking... She's like, oh, fucking, fucking, get off me! <laughs> and as she's saying that, I'm like, that's not the fucking safe word, is it? <laughs> take that dip, take that dip. She's like, fuck, fucking, fucking abracadabra! <laughs> That's the key, mate. You're gonna have a safe word making something dead hard to say. <laughs> She's halfway through, like, super gallifrey! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Shut the fuck up right now, you fucking dirty little bitch. Call me daddy right now, you fucking little bitch. I know you say this because, I've gotta be fair to her, because recently, like a couple of months back, this is totally out of character, this. She tried to spice our Monday nights up. She went out of her way to spice our Monday nights up. And I didn't see this coming because I said it's out to carry that. What she did was, she went on that lovehoney.com. Because, I tell you, like, she doesn't like none of that good stuff. What she likes before sex, she likes a massage before sex. And, yeah, if you're a woman who likes a massage before sex, you need to fuck off because... <laughs> you're a knobhead. Like... Every man in here is like, oh, yeah, it's the fucking worst. You can't stay engaged in that shit. I don't give a fuck if you're a fucking professional masseuse. You, can't, you, you, st you get into it about 60 seconds, you start working the shoulders. You have good intentions. You're like, yeah, I'm gonna, this is going to be boss. This. And about 60 seconds in, I just find myself just fucking one hand in it. Just like, it's like a dead confident bus driver. Just like... Ugh. 60 seconds after that, I'm forearming it. 60 seconds after that, I'm four arm in it and trying to give myself a wank. <laughs> Just to fucking stay engaged. So as I said, to be fair to her, she went on at lovehoney.com and she got us a, box, a little box of goodies to spice our Monday nights up. And what she got was this, right? She got a few things in the box. The first thing, as I said, she loves a massage before sex or what? And she knows I don't like doing it. So, good on her. She got this little gadget, right? It's like a big ball. And as you grab it, it lights up blue, right? And she's got three little balls on the bottom of it. It's like a massage. So, you know, as you grab it, it comes on and it goes, it pulses, it goes, whoa, 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 whoa. Boss, right? It's got, like, pleasure oil with it. She lies down, you get it there, and you're like, oh. And she's like, oh. She's like, oh. Oh, babe. Mm. She's like, oh, fuck me. Oh. <laughs> she liked that. So she got that for it. Oh, mate, get on. You'll have, Chris, you're gonna have one of these, aren't you? You ever had a willy ring? You ever had a willy ring? You had a willy ring? You had a willy ring, Connor? You got one? Yes, big man, fucking. Sound, aren't they? Like, mate, I was, I know what, I was skeptical at first. When I got out the box, I'm like, what the fuck's that? I don't need that. I don't know if you got the same model as me, la. But if, if you haven't got one, ask Chris to bring you one for Grimbo, because the fucking sound. 
I, I'll explain them. You look like a little Harry Bow jelly, right? <laughs> a lot bigger, obviously. I've got a massive bully shut the fuck up. <laughs> like a massive Harry Bow jelly. Right? <laughs> it's like a little, a little. My mum was like a little black rubber ring. It's got a little capsule on top. Do you get that one? A little capsule, and you click it, and it goes. Bzzz. Yeah, mate. Have you ever put it on upside down? <laughs> mate, it's a fucking game changer, that it is. Woo! Fucking cheese in the bathroom. I got it out. I was like, put it on upside down. I was like, whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> fucking stay in there, girl. I will see you next Monday, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what else did we get? We got this here. Uh, oh, what was it? It was pl a pleasure bomb, it was, right? It looked like a little tin of lip balm, but it was pleasure bomb, right? And it looks like, like it's got a little heart shaped tin, and it's like eucalyptus in it and stuff, so you're meant to get a little dot of it and put it on the clitoris. It's supposed to heighten the orgasm. But as I said, she's in the bathroom, I'm unpacking this stuff, and I'm a fucking idiot. And I was like, I'm gonna have to have a go, aren't I? Beep, beep, beep. That was a fucking mistake, that means. Oh, it was like me cocking at the polo. It was fucking awful. I was like, oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh, 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 put it in your mouth, put it in your mouth and warm it up. Fuck off. She came in, and you know what? We did it. it was, you know what? It was one of the best nights we've had in a long time. It was incredible. You know what? I think that we, we, we just got into a, a rut, into a routine, and this just broke the routine. It was playful again. It was fun. We, just, we had fun with each other. We got proper carried away. We had a fucking great night. Thing is, though, right, as I said, the baby's out, but my eldest, he's still in the house. I've still got to get up in the morning and do the school run, right? And the thing you need to know about my eldest for the story to move on is that his name is George, and he's five, and he's non-verbal autistic, right? So... My morning routine is this, right? It's just a very strict routine. I get up at six o'clock in the morning, and I, 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 he's got like a, I say non-verbal, he can, he can babble, he can go da 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 and stuff like that. So, uh, he, he wakes up, and he's got a safety gate on his door, and he goes to his gate, and he goes da 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 da, and I walk out, and I open his gate, and he gives me a big cuddle, and then we walk down the stairs, and he goes and sits on a, on a spot on the couch where he sits every day, and I make him some toast. And if you do that, he's the happiest boy in the world. But if you fuck with that, he's, he gets very fucking upset with you. Very upset, right? And I'm regimented with it. I never ever get it wrong until this one morning. It's the first time I've ever fucked it up because the night I got away from us, I just forgot to set my alarm and I woke up to the sound of him screaming. And I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake. I jumped out. But as I said, it, it, the night I got away from us and it got a bit messy, do you know what I mean? Like, it was I, it, it, like my pubes were matted and stuff. <laughs> I, I had to fucking peel myself off the bed. I was like, oh. Fuck. And I jumped up and I said, he's in full meltdown. And I run through and I open his gate and he runs past me. And I couldn't grab him because I was crusty as fuck, do you know what I mean? Can't start grabbing a five-year-old like that. So I to chase him into our room and he runs in and he's in full meltdown. And he's, he's hitting stuff. He, she's like, what's happened here? I'm like, I forgot to get it with George. And she's like, fucking hell, babe. I'm like, I know, I'm so sorry. And as he's hitting stuff, think about George. He's got sensory issues, he's got sensory needs. So as he starts hitting things in meltdown, he, managed, he just happens to hit this massage toy, but as I said, as you hit the top of it, it lights up blue and it comes on. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's just a fucking phenomenal sensory toy, right? So as he hits it, it comes on, it starts pulsing, he picks it up, puts it on himself. Whoa, 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 whoa. And it just calmed him down immediately. And I was just stood there going, oh. And she's looking at me going, get that off him right now. And I was like, you fucking bought it? She's like, get it off him right now. And I was like, fuck's sake. George. Georgie, come on, mate. That, that's mummy and daddy's toy. Come on. Come on, mate. It's mummy and daddy's toy. And I'm edging towards him. And he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm like, come on, mate. Come on, mate. And he's like, whoa, whoa. And I got about, I was just, I, you have to be slow. He's like a fucking gazelle, right? I got about this far away from him. I went to grab it. And he just went, ah! And I was like, yeah, that is now that. <laughs> Fucking took her to school, didn't he? <laughs> 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 
I couldn't do nothing about it. I couldn't get it off him. And he's, he's just, I don't, he, he, just, he's, oh, he, he was bad, you know. He took it to school, right? And he went to the school and he started chasing all the other beautiful little autistic kids around the playground with it. Just like, whoa, 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 whoa. And then they're like, ah! <laughs> just stood there watching it, thinking, oh my God. <sighs> I haven't even had the chance to watch that. There was Fanny Batter all over it. <laughs>